This is the 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser. The FJ Cruiser harkens back to an icon. From 1961 to 1965, the FJ40 Land Cruiser was Toyota's best-selling model in the US. So it's no surprise that the brand decided to resurrect the FJ name back in 2005. And this being a 2014 model is the last year the FJ Cruiser was produced. The FJ Cruiser channels the 1960s era FJ40, but updates it into a more whimsical and cartoonish look. If Mini ever decided to make a macho truck off-roader, this might be what it looks like. Although the FJ Cruiser shares a platform with the Toyota 4Runner, it has its own unique appearance that speaks to the FJ Cruisers of yesteryear, with an upright square design, round headlights, white rooftop, spare tire mounted on the back, and those rear wraparound windows. Now power in the FJ Cruiser is provided by a 4 liter V6 engine that pumps out 260 horsepower and 271 foot-pounds of torque. is available with three different drive lines that cover the needs of all off-roaders or non-off-roaders. Serious adventurers will opt for the full-time four-wheel drive system that comes with a six-speed manual and locking rear differential. For soft roaders, a part-time four-wheel drive system comes with a five-speed automatic. As I said, the FJ Cruiser shares a platform with the 4Runner. It impresses off-road but has some sacrifices on the road. Skid plates protect the body underneath, and components are tucked into the frame rails. Plus, the high ground clearance and short wheelbase help it with good wheel articulation. And the FJ's approach and departure angles and water fording depth of 27 and a half inches are actually better than most other stock off-roaders. You wouldn't expect it. And this one even has a rear locking differential. The Toyota FJ's interior also reflects much of the same character of old FJ's with optional body colored door panel inserts like this one has, water resistant cloth seats and rubberized floor mats. There's a hint of military in here, but for looking so buff and macho on the outside, it's actually quite comfortable in here. But it does drive big. It feels like you're driving something quite substantial. Now this FJ Cruiser is finished in quicksand, that's the name of the color, and it has just 144,000 miles on it. Thank you guys very much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, happy motoring!